Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic drop down menu. So, in other words, a uh, drop down menu that has its contents populated from a database. Now, to start with, what I've got is uh, a website one of my students built, and in the drop down menu, we've hard coded in the uh, options. So, under menu, we've got appetizers and mains. So, that's been hard coded in. So, what I mean by that is uh, if I just show you in Dreamweaver, um, if we just go into the code under menu, so this is remember how uh, Dreamweaver copes with uh, the drop downs in its sprite, it uses um, lists. So there's the uh, list item there for, uh, if I go across menu, and underneath it we have a nested list, an unordered list there, and there's appetizers and mains. Now, what I want though is a little query that I'm going to write that goes and grabs back all the courses. From the database and we're going to put a loop in there that displays them all now um, I'll just show you what the uh, database looks like so currently what I've got uh, in my courses table I have two columns the course ID number and C name which stands for course name and there are the eight different courses we have so when we finish we should have eight options dropping down so back in, back in Dreamweaver, uh, I'm just going to run the, the query at the top of the page here that is going to go to my database and retrieve all that course information from that table. Right, there we go. Uh, now, just to walk you through that as I've just quickly pasted it in there, um, what I've done is I've just set up a variable. Now, I tend to do it this way. Well, obviously, variables start with a dollar sign in PHP, and this is relating to the courses from my menu. And um, I just set up the actual SQL query. I just call it courses underscore SQL. So there's the query. Select everything from the courses table. Now remember that goes in speech marks, ends in a semicolon. Now my next line, I uh, run the query. So dollar sign courses underscore query equals. Now my SQL underscore query is an inbuilt PHP command to run this query. The query that I want to run is this thing here courses underscore SQL which is from the line above right there in red or die just means stop running any more PHP if this fails now the last thing I do is I actually take the results of that query and I put them into what's called an associative array with this command mysql fetch asoc now that associative array just means that I can pull the information out by its name so I can pull out C name in other words the course name um, and I've called that array of data dollar sign RS courses okay so that's the query that I'm going to be running and the next thing is to then to go down the page and find that list and what I want to do is have these list items created dynamically so um, I'm just going to get rid of I might get rid of them both actually and we'll start from scratch down here so what I want to have happen is this. Um, I want to start what's called a do while loop. So I want to do the following stuff, whatever comes in between here, while, sorry, I just had to copy and paste that, while, um, and this is from the above, uh, right at the top there, while dollar sign RS courses is equal to mysql underscore fetch associative array that um, little section there I'm just hiding there is actually directly from line in my case line six at the top there so it matches it identically um, and that while bit is inside brackets and as always it ends in a semicolon um, and then close the PHP so the stuff that goes in that do while loop is going to be the um, list items, in other words the submenu appearing. Now uh, I can't include an HTML tag inside PHP like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break out the PHP and then restart it through the below. And um, let's add the list item in. There it is there. Um, it's going to be a link so I'm just going to set it up to go to nothing at the moment. We'll put that in later on. And what's going to happen now is I need to enter the text that's going to go in there. 
Now, uh, the text that I want is the name of that course. So I'll open up my PHP again, and I'm going to echo, which means print on screen. Um, and the stuff I want to echo is in that record set. So dollar sign RS courses. Now, to pull information out of a record set, square brackets because it's an array, an apostrophe, and then the name of the data you want. So in this case, I want C name. Close the apostrophe, square brackets, semicolon to finish it, and then exit from the PHP. So that's the text that will appear. Now I need to close the link and close the list item. So uh, this now means that this loop will run over and over and over again, um, adding list items with the course names in it. Now none of them are actually going to link anywhere, so we probably need to set that link up also, otherwise there's not much point having them. So uh, I'm just going to replace that hash there with, um, I'm going to call my page menu.php and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the course ID across to that page. So to do that I'm going to use the get method. So I go question mark course ID equals and I want this course ID to match the same bit of information from the uh, name which is there. So what I'm going to do is use PHP for that again. So I'll just open that up. So there's my less than question mark PHP. I'm going to echo and again this data is in that record set so dollar sign RS courses uh, it's an array so I need the square bracket an apostrophe and I want course ID apostrophe square bracket ends in a semicolon and close the PHP so uh, remember this course ID comes from our database as does C name. those are the two column headings so I'm just going to save that and we'll test it and see how we get on. Alright, so fingers crossed here. Um, when I roll over the menu, oh, excellent. So that's all working. And when I hover over each of these, they're going to take me to different course IDs, which is a little hard to tell because of the menu I've got down the bottom, but um, it all seems to be working. So uh, what we've done now is we have created a dynamic drop down menu. And just to sh really show you improve, Appetizers there might be spelt with a Z in the state. So if we cross over to the database and maybe we edit that appetizers and change it to uh, appetizers with a Z just for the American audience, go. Uh, there it is in the database with a Z. We'll just return to the page and refresh it. Now when we do the drop down, there's appetizers with a Z. So this is a menu that is fully informed by the database. Uh, so there you go. That's um, how you would create a dynamic drop-down menu. Um, in terms of how you would then grab the, uh, con I guess, get the content onto each page, that's in another tutorial. So anyway, good luck with that.